More bad weather's on the way for the UK during the next 24 to 48 hours, but later on this weekend conditions are going to become quieter and next week looks generally a much more settled week than what the next couple of days have got in store for us. Now, a frontal zone affecting the south and southwest on Thursday lunchtime is pushing slowly northwards and it will get into the rest of Wales and the Midlands and as well as Northern Ireland later today or this evening. It then spreads further north and northeastwards uh, into much of the rest of England as well as a decent chunk of Scotland during the course of tonight and Friday morning. Now, what's going to happen is, as this wet weather meets the cold air mass that's been sat over much of the UK so far this week, we're going to find that the associated precipitation turns increasingly to snow. This image here blends radar data with high resolution model output to try and give some sense of where the discriminating line between rain and snow. And we can see this is already happening over parts of Wales where you can see these white um, areas here, and that indicates that snow is falling over higher ground in Wales. As this wet weather pushes further north and northeastwards, we're going to find it turning increasingly to snow, and with a deep area of low pressure near the UK at the moment, conditions are going to turn windier as well. A combination of wind and duration and intensity of precipitation are going to combine to generate a pretty severe weather event. Parts of Wales, Northern Ireland, the North Midlands, North West England and Southern and Eastern Scotland are going to see the worst of snow. In excess of 20 centimetres is likely over high ground, where combined with the wind, conditions are going to be atrocious with blizzards and drifting of heavy snow. Even at lower levels in these areas, 10 to 15 centimetres of snow is possible at lower levels, and parts of North Wales, Northern England and Northwestern England are probably going to be the worst affected areas, and with this in mind, we've issued an amber warning for snow in these areas, and the advice is very much to keep in touch with our website for further updates on these warnings. Now, further south, over parts of South Wales, southern and southwestern England, rain's more the problem. Here, there's been heavy rain so far through the course of Thursday, and what's going to happen is that more of this cloud here is going to sweep up into these parts, bringing further rain through the next 24 or so hours. 40 to 60 millimetres is likely over moors in uh, parts of southwestern England, perhaps locally even close to 100 mils, and again, an amber warning has been issued to cater for this very wet weather. And as I said at the start of this broadcast, looking ahead, conditions will slowly improve through the course of the weekend and next week does look a little bit more settled than this week.